In Outlook 2019, you can export your email, all your data, your contacts, everything off to a file, but sometimes you want to filter it so you only get specific results when you go to export your data. So we can go to File at the top, open and export, and from here we'll click on Import Export, and we'll choose Export to a File and click Next. Let's choose the PST option, click Next and then we'll click on the filter button. So from here we can do uh, specific word searches and we can also choose in the subject field or in the message body or both and then we've got also frequently used texts as well. We can also filter by from or sent to. If we check this little box here where I am we see a new box uh, drop down show up the only person on the to line on the to line with other people or also on the CC line with other people. So this is basically uh, who you're sending to. You can also choose by time. So sent, received, etc. And then you could choose the time. So this is a great way to do a quick filter, and which we're going to do here in just a second. You also have additional choices under more choices. You can click on categories. So if any of these emails are categorized by color, you can go ahead and choose that. You can choose uh, only items that are read, unread, only items with one or more attachments. So you can do it by attachments. You could do it uh, importance, uh, whether it's normal, high, low, etc. You could choose only items with which uh, that are flagged uh, by someone. We can also choose match case, which really gets granular as well. And of course, the size of the email. So it could be larger or smaller than, etc., a specific size. If we click on the advanced items, we can do even more damage and look at all of these different options that you can filter. Let's do a simple filter here at the top. We'll search for the word. And we see I've got a whole bunch of different office uh, emails here. So I'm just going to type the word office. And we'll say uh, in the subject field, uh, we'll say subject field and message body. Click OK. And we'll click at the top so we make sure we get all subfolders that have that same information. Click Sent. As far as the option goes here, if, we, if this is the first time we've ever exported using this particular name, then it doesn't really matter which option you choose because you're not going to have any duplicates. So let's just call this a filtered PST and then we'll click Finish. If we want, we can protect it using a password. Let's go ahead and click OK. We don't need a password at this time. And now we've got our filtered PST file. Let's go ahead and go to Properties, and we can see it's 4 megabytes. Now this is the full backup that we see here that we did in a previous video, and we can see that's 8 megabytes. So it definitely just got the email with the word Office in it. So what I can do now is go to File, and go to Open and Export, go to Open Outlook Data File, go to the Desktop, choose my Filtered option, and I can just scroll down to the bottom, and I can choose to expand on it, and now I see just the email with the word Office in it. So that's how you choose the filtered option when you go to Export, Email, and other information that may be in Outlook 2019.